four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We could only fit uh, 12, and I think it should be okay. We got 12 um, Ozark cast iron skillets. They're 12 inches in diameter. And we're gonna find out how many of these it takes to stop different bullets. First round is gonna be a 22 long rifle. This is 40 grains out of this Walter P22. Jasperi, you ready? I'm ready, ready to rumble. Okay, is it gonna ricochet? Uh, probably. Probably. Not. Let's go back. Oh. <laughs> okay, fire in the hole. Oy. Oh, that was so center. <laughs> I surprised myself. Wow. <laughs> Clear. Nothing happened. Wow, it couldn't have gone any more center, like literally. <laughs> I surprised myself. Ay, cabrón. It's really center. Huh. Hey, you, you, you surprised me. I know, I surprised myself too. <laughs> you wake up this morning with really good aim. Yeah, this morning I woke up, I was like, I'm gonna aim really good today. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing happened with the 22. Should I put a slow motion on the side? Okay, nine millimeter. We're using a 115 grain full metal jacket and a Glock 19X. That's very ready? I'm ready, I wanna guess. How okay. many? Uh, guess, how many? Two. Oh, go through. Wait, wait, wait. Two. Go two? through two and stop in the third one. Uh, I feel like the same way. Maybe it'll stop on the fourth one for me. Okay. Let's see. Let's go see. We are hot. That's very ready. I'm ready. Fire in the hole. Because the second one, I thought nothing happened. Clear. Oh, only go to one. Oh, only one. These things are pretty tough. Wow. So it only went through the first one and stopped on the second one. That is amazing results. We were both wrong. These things are pretty heavy duty. No sign of the bullet anywhere. We'll probably end up finding it later. Um, yeah. No sign of that. Maybe inside? Inside the... I don't see anything. I'd look. Oh. Next round is going to be a 45, everyone's favorite. And these are the Hornady I'm using and uh, hollow points. We're using a Glock 30. Is it 30? Yeah. Gen 4. Clear? No way. Wow. <laughs> what is going on? I guess we got too many cast iron skillets. <laughs> Maybe we should give away cast iron skillets. So, it went on the bottom. Well, at least the cool thing is we get to see the size difference. It made a little small, uh, bigger hole, that 45. Again, it hit the uh, second skillet. It did not go through the second one. Okay. Uh, I didn't think they were gonna be this tough. We can make a whole bunch of eggs at the end of this <laughs> using different cast irons. <laughs> okay, next round. So we're not gonna play around. It seems like the um, smaller rounds are not working out. We're gonna, we have two more rounds to go through. I didn't wanna complicate this by bringing too many guns. I just went straight to the 500 Smith & Wesson and I picked the perfect round. It's the Extreme Penetrator from Underwood Ammo. This will do the job. Jasper, are you ready? I'm ready! Ready, Jasper? Ready! Alright, 500, here we go. Oh, center! No, that doesn't happen. Today we have a, a good lucky day. One, two. Two. Wow, even a 500 only went through three? This is crazy. So one, center. How do I know center? There's a circle. <laughs> do you see the circle? Yeah. Okay. 
two, center, semi-center. Three, there's little pieces of jacket here, but that's the third one. It hit the fourth, there's a little uh, ding over here. Oh, it'll crack the back too a little bit. So it stopped on the fourth one. We're still not seeing any signs of any bullets here. They're just falling out here somewhere, I know, but no sign of them. You know what I'm gonna do? I have some room over here. I'm gonna put this first one back. Just go on an angle. Because I just, I've been hitting way too center. I'm sorry. I usually off a little bit. <laughs> right, this buddy? Yeah. Okay. Next, uh, next round. The last round is gonna be the AK round. And uh, I've shot a lot of AK and the 5.56. Well, you know. I've shot a lot of AK and uh, AR-15, the 7.62 versus the 5.56 and the AK round, it's uh, a lot better in penetrating. It's a little larger caliber, so uh, it has some mass going through stuff, so it doesn't destroy too much. That's pretty ready? Ready. So I have a couple ideas. First, let's shoot it this way. Uh, 7.62 by 39. Okay, ready? Ready. Fire and hole. Clear. Looks like went through one, two. No way. It stopped on the third one. The 500 did a better job, but it stopped on the third cast iron skillet. Nothing happened to the fourth one. Okay, I decided to go back and bring out an AR-15. So we're gonna shoot the uh, green tip actually, the steel core. We're gonna see if it does any better job than that AK-47 that did uh, two. Stopped on the third one. That's very ready? I'm ready! Okay, go back. Back, back, back. I want my baby back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Fire in the hole. You can feel the... Clear. <laughs> Not bad, I'm actually... Really good on my accuracy today for some reason. Went center when I wanted to, went low when I wanted to, and went right on this, just using iron sights. So went inside the first one. You see that, Jasper? One, yeah. two, and it stopped on the third one again. Okay, these cast iron skillets are pretty tough. Not what I expected. Hmm. Okay. Clear on this. I want to also try it with the FN57. Go back to the pistol rounds. I want to see what that does. The 22 stopped on the uh, first one. Let's see with the higher velocity what we'll get. Okay, let me get that real quick. FN57, and we're using these uh, blue tip. They're 40 grains. Oh wait, different mag. Too many mags. <laughs> okay, let's put it. We need to go back for this one too. This thing is traveling supersonic. Supersonic? Yeah. You ready? I'm ready! Clear. Double clear. <laughs> it hit right over there. Yeah. Make this. But that's it. It stopped on the second one. Shoot one more time. You think so? 